Welcome back, Future Medicos. In yesterday's video, we have seen the cutoff for Tamil Nadu Government Medical Colleges for the academic year 2022-23. We have seen the cutoff in terms of need score as well as the general rank within the state. In today's video, we will see the cutoff marks for government quota in private medical colleges and private universities of Tamil Nadu. One thing you need to take note, this video is purely for Tamil Nadu native students or Tamil Nadu domicile students. For other state students, this video is not applicable. So other state students can switch off and move and see some other videos. This video is only for Tamil Nadu native or Tamil Nadu domicile students. Okay. With that introduction, let's go into the details and see what is the cutoff. So first, let's start with the private medical colleges. Okay, so we call it category B. I have uh, divided the private medical colleges and private universities into two categories, category B and B1. Of course, it is only for convenience. So private medical colleges. Now let's look at this cutoff, first of all, for each community. First, let's look at the open category. For round one, uh, it was 512 marks. And then it dropped around 507 marks in round two and mop up round. So you should be somewhere 500 plus uh, to get a seat in a private medical college if you are an open category student. For BC candidates, it started at 478. And finally, in the stray vacancy round, it closed at 444 marks. Then BCM 473 and finally closed at 451 marks. MBC, uh, it started with 455 and then finally it was around 439, 440 marks it closed. SC candidates started with 361 and then finally closed at 337. SCA candidates started with 290 and then dropped about 40 marks and closed finally at 250 marks in the stray vacancy round. And then ST candidates, 270, and then there is a huge drop to 175 in round two. So uh, you can see that there are four rounds conducted by Tamil Nadu government, round one, round two, mop up round, and stay, right, stay vacancy round. Uh, basically, there is no difference between all the rounds. It's basically round one, round two, round three, round four. That's all. A mop up, uh, there is no difference, except there are certain rules um, will be applicable. But basically, you can consider this as round one, round two, round three, round four. Now we will look at what is a general rank. Okay, I have shown you the need score. Now, why is general rank? Why is um, general rank easy? Um, general, uh, mostly when the general rank adhima mara the ongluk. Periya difference is there. Need score vary. Over years, in the years, 507 rko. Adta years, uh, 497 varla. it may go up to 525. The marks on the it all depends on uh, how difficult the exam is, how well they have performed, uh, how Tamil Nadu students have performed. All these will determine the need score. But rank will be more or less similar. Okay. So look at the rank. Um, so after neat results, after Tamil Nadu publishes the rank list, look at the rank list and then you will get a better idea about your chances in the colleges. Now looking at um, open category, roughly you can see that you should be in the top 4000 ranks within the state to get a good or to get a decent private medical college, right? You should be in the top 4000 ranks. BC candidates, roughly the top 7000 ranks, they should be able to get a seat. The same with BCM, they should be in the top 6,500 to 7,000 ranks. MBC, again, roughly in the top 7,000 ranks. SC candidates, roughly around the top 10,000 to 11,000 ranks. They should be able to get a seat. SCA, roughly around 14,000 ranks, seems to be safe last year. And then ST candidates, around 17,000 ranks, they were able to get a seat. Now, this is the cutoff for private medical colleges that are affiliated to Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. Okay. Now, let's look at the cutoff for government quota in private university. Now, there are two private universities. One is Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan University and there is this Sri Venkateshwara University in Chennai. Last year, there was one college under Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, one college under Venkateshwara. This year, we are going to have one more college under Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan. So, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan private university is going to have two colleges and Venkateshwara is going to have one college. So, we are going to have three colleges under private universities. So, let's see what is the cutoff for private universities. Why I have separated private colleges and private universities? 
the fee structure is different. Private medical college as a vida, private universities is expensive. Private universities konja adhigimana cost. Government fix panna fees hai, private medical college as a vida, private universities are expensive. That's why the cutoff is also lower in private universities. The two new colleges, maybe in no few years, ana paraga, these things might change. But as of now, or uh, Cut off na na, government medical colleges, government quota in private medical colleges, and the level la, government quota in private universities. Right? Now let's look at the cutoff for open category students. OC students uh, 481, it started and closed at around 468. BC candidates started at 475 and closed at 443. Then BCM candidates started at 471 and finally closed at around 433. MBC candidates started at 448 and closed at around 438. SC candidates started at 356 and finally closed at 340 marks. SCA started at 273 and finally closed at 263. ST candidates started at 263 and finally went down as low as 123. Right. Uh, some of the colleges I have not shown uh, any uh, cutoff for stray vacancy round, which means there is no vacancy for stray vacancy round. That's why there is nothing shown here. Right. Now, this is in terms of need score. Let's also look at what is the general rank. So you can see that if you are an open category candidate, that means you don't have any reservation, then you should be in the top 6,000 ranks within the state. Within the state, if you are in the top 6,000 ranks, you have a chance to get either in a private medical college or in a private university. BC, you should be in the top 7,000 ranks. BCM, roughly you should be in the top 7,000 to 7,500 ranks. MBC, again, between somewhere between 7,000 to 7,500 ranks. SC about 11,000. SCA about 14,000 ranks. And ST maybe right around 20,000 ranks. Probably just slightly around the pass mark should be sufficient. Okay. So this is the uh, cutoff for government quota in private medical colleges and government quota in private universities last year. Don't ask me what will be the cutoff for this year. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Future I cannot tell you. This is the score last year. This is the guess. Do you have a chance? In the range, maybe you can be confident. But for example, OC 468, you have 200 marks, you have a seat. 450, sir, I have 450 marks. Will I get? I don't know. Maybe you have to wait and see. Maybe you may get. Or maybe you may not get. I, I cannot predict because there is no way to predict, right? There is no way to predict. I tell you again, there is no way to predict what will be the cutoff. Unless you know the rank, right? At a later stage, probably we can think about it. But right now, we don't know how Tamil Nadu students have performed. What is the rank, right? Overall, all India, how students have performed. Will the ranks increase compared to last year? Whether Tamil Nadu students have performed better than all India students or lesser than all India students? There are a lot of questions. And it's extremely difficult to answer any kind of prediction. So don't waste your time asking, this is my mark, will I get this college? Okay, I won't be able to answer, right? Let's be honest, right? Thank you. Bye-bye.